hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I will show you how to make this dress this is super easy to make but in order to understand how exactly to make this dress I suggest you to watch the whole video before you start so without further ado let's get started you need a 3.5 mm crochet hook yarn is about 325 gram stitch markers I use paper clips measuring tape and scissor check your gauge first two rows of 10 double crochet equal to two inch by one inch you can use any hook size to obtain the gauge Okay, first you need to determine the length of your dress or if you want to make this into a top, you can make a chain until your hips here or if you want to make this into a dress like mine, just make a chain until your tie here so just make a chain as long as you want just make sure it ends with an even number Okay, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make this dress for size S or M. So you start with a slip knot and chain 120. For row 1, just double crochet in the fourth chain from hook 1. To 3 4 here in the fourth chain from hook and just continue to double crochet in each of the next 18 stitches and you're going to mark the last double crochet stitch with a stitch marker The last double crochet stitch with a stitch marker and in the next 10 stitches we are going to make half double crochet so you just yarn over into the chain stitch yarn over and pull your yarn all through three loops on hook and over into the chain stitch and over and pull your yarn through all three loops on hook you just continue to make half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Three double half double crochet. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Half double crochet. And in the next five stitches, we're going to make single crochet. One single crochet. Two, three, four, and five single crochet. And in the next five stitches, we're going to make half double crochet again. So make five half double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five half double crochet. Now your work should look like this. Now you have. Then half double crochet, five single crochet, and five half double crochet, and then going to mark your last half double crochet stitch with a stitch marker. Mark the last half double crochet stitch, and just continue to double crochet in each of the stitches till the end of the row, and then just turn your work.
this is your first row and just turn your work for the second row just chain three one two three and double crochet in the next stitch here chain one Skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. So we're just going to repeat this pattern till the end of row. Just chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. Just continue with this pattern. Here until the first stitch marker, chain one, double, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Now remove the stitch marker and mark that last double crochet stitch. And after that, just continue with the pattern, chain one. Skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. Now when you reach the next stitch marker, remove the stitch marker and mark the last double crochet stitch. And just continue with the pattern till the end of row. Chain 1, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. And here in the last stitch, we're going to make 2 double crochet. So chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 2 double crochet in the very last stitch. 1 double crochet and 2 double crochet. So we're going to add 1 stitch at the end of every row of this. So here on row 3, just chain 3. And then I'm going to make two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet, two double crochet, and just continue to double crochet in each of the stitches till the stitch before the stitch marker. Double crochet, remove the stitch marker and mark that last stitch. And after this, just like row one, just continue to half double crochet in the next 10 stitches, single crochet in the next five stitches, and half double crochet again in the next five stitches. So, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten half double crochet. Next five stitches going to make single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five single crochet. And in the next five stitches, going to make half double crochet again. Just one, one, and 
two, three, four, five half double crochet. Remove your stitch marker and mark that last half double crochet stitch. And just continue to double crochet in each of the stitches till the end of the row. Okay, for row 4 to row 7, we're just going to repeat the pattern from row 2 and 3 alternately. Just in your work, and now we are on row 4, just chain 3, 1, 2, 3, double crochet in the next stitch, chain 1, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the next stitch. So just repeat this pattern till the end of the row. And after this, we're going to focus on how to shape the armhole, the shoulder strap, and the neckline. Just like the previous row, we're going to add one stitch at the end of the row here. Make two double crochet in the row last stitch. So just chain one, skip the next stitch, and make two double crochet in the last stitch. So one double crochet and two double crochet. Turn your work and on row five. Just chain three and make two double crochet in the next stitch. So that is just the repetition of row three. Just continue to double crochet in each of the stitches till stitch marker and then just like the previous pattern, half double crochet in the next 10 stitches and then single crochet in the next 5 stitches and half double crochet in the next 5 stitches and continue to double crochet till the end of row and then just going to turn your work and repeat the pattern and you're going to add one stitch at the upper end of every row until row 8 Now we are at the end of row N, just continue to chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 2 double crochet in the very last stitch. And after this we are going to continue to make the shoulder strap. So to make the shoulder strap you need to chain 27, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 chain. Just going to double crochet in the flat chain from the top. And just continue to double crochet in each of the stitches cross till stitch marker till you reach the stitch marker and just repeat the pattern just like before half double crochet in the next 10 stitches double crochet in the next five stitches and half double crochet in the next five stitches and continue to just double crochet in each of the stitches till the end of row At the end of row 10, chain 1, skip the next stitch and double crochet in the last stitch. Not going to add any stitches at the end. So just turn your work, chain 3, 1, 2, 3. And just continue to double crochet in each of the stitches across and for the shoulder strap, you're going to make two more rows so we have a total of five rows for the shoulder strap when you have a total of five rows for the shoulder strap continue to shape the front neckline so on row 14 when you only have 28 stitches remaining chain one skip the next stitch Yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through all three loops and hook. So that is how you decrease the stitches, double crochet together in the last two stitches. So now turn your work, chain three, yarn over into the next stitch. Pull yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three loops on hook, and just continue with the pattern just like the pattern before. Now we are at the end of row 16, chain 1, skip the next stitch and double crochet 2 together in the last 2 stitches to decrease 1 stitch and just turn your work around. Okay, by now your work should look something like this. Just continue to decrease one stitch like the way you shape your armhole. You make seven rows of decrease. 
So the rest of the pattern is the same on how you shape the waistline. This is a repetition. So we're just going to focus on to shape the neckline and the armhole. So on row 18, just chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet two together in the next two stitches, and just turn your work around. And on row 19 till row 20, just repeat the previous pattern alternately. Now we have 7 rows of decrease, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and on the next row, row 21, we're going to stop decreasing the stitch, so just chain 3, 1, 2, 3, double crochet in each of the stitches, still a stitch marker, and just continue with the pattern on how to shape the waistline half double crochet in the next 10 stitches single crochet in the next 5 stitches half double crochet in the next 5 stitches and just continue to double crochet till the end of row and turn your work around ok now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of decrease and 1 row without decrease and in the next 7 rows, you're going to increase again by adding 1 double crochet at the upper end of each row. So now, we are at the end of row 22, chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 2 double crochet in the last stitch. Turn your work around, chain 3. One, two, three, and make two double crochet in the next stitch. Just continue to add one double crochet at the upper end of every row until row 28 to shape the front neckline ok now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of decrease 1 row without the decrease and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of increase so this we're going to continue to make the shoulder strap again so just like the previous strap just chain 27 and continue to make 5 rows for the shoulder strap when you have a total of 5 rows for the shoulder strap continue on row 34 when you only have 20 stitches remaining chain 1 skip the next stitch and double crochet 2 together in the next 2 stitches to decrease 1 stitch so you just continue to do that on the next 6 rows and 1 row without the decrease and continue again to the increase 1 stitch on the next 7 rows. Okay, now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of decrease and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of decrease and 1 row without the decrease. So on the next row, we're going to make 1 row without the decrease and on the next 7 row, we're going to continue to do the increase again just like the way we shape the neckline. So 
the rest of the pattern is the same way on how you shape the front neckline so just continue to do the increase on the next 7 row till row 48 to shape the right armhole and after that we're going to continue to make the shoulder strap for the back Now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of increase and this is your right arm hole. Now we're going to continue to make the shoulder strap for the back. So just like the previous strap, just chain 27 and make a total of 5 rows for the shoulder strap before you shape the neckline for the back. Okay, now we are on row 54 and we're going to do the decrease again until row 56 that is 3 rows of decrease and after that we're going to make the back neckline slightly higher than the front neckline so we're going to do only 3 rows of decrease and then 9 rows without the decrease and another 3 rows of increase so that is how you shape the back neckline. So just continue to do two more rows of decrease. Okay, on the next nine rows, just continue without decreasing any stitch ok now we have one to 3 rows of decrease and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9 rows without the decrease and on the next 3 rows we are going to do the increase again so on the last stitch you're going to make 2 double crochet to increase the number of stitch on row 66 until row 68 Turn your work and chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and make 2 double crochet in the next stitch. at the end of row 68 just chain one skip the next stitch and make two double crochet in the last stitch so that is one double crochet and two double crochet and your neckline should look something like this by now you have three rows of decrease nine rows without the decrease and three rows of increase so just continue to chain 27 to make the shoulder strap just like the previous strap for a total of five rows and you're going to continue to make the left arm hole so on row 74 until row 80 going to make seven rows of decrease
have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of decrease and at the other side of the left arm hole you have the same number of increase and one without the increase so you have here one two three four five six seven rows of increase and one rows without the increase and we're going to join the side seams together but before that we're going to continue to make the edging along the neckline and the shoulder strap so to make the edging just continue to make two single crochet in each of the double crochet space across so here in the double crochet space make two single crochet Now just continue to single crochet in each of the stitches along the shoulder strap. When you reach the top, just make two single crochet in each of the double crochet space. And then continue to single crochet again in each of the stitches along the shoulder strip downward and just repeat to make two single crochet in each of the double crochet spaces along the neckline. Just continue to single crochet in each of the stitches along the shoulder strap just like the previous strap and continue to make two single crochet in each of the double crochet spaces across until the end of row. Okay, when you have finished, just turn your work around 
and continue to make the edging on row 2. So just chain 1, skip the next stitch and make double crochet, chain 3 and double crochet in the next stitch. So one double crochet, chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and double crochet again in the same stitch skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch so just repeat this pattern again skip the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch chain 3 and double crochet again in the same stitch You just keep doing that pattern until you reach the top of the shoulder strap. Okay, now we are at the end of the shoulder strap. Just continue to double crochet, chain 3, and double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch. crochet in the next stitch and just continue to make single crochet in the next 10 stitches okay, single crochet 4 single crochet 5 6 7 single crochet and just continue with the pattern again skip the next stitch double crochet chain 3 double crochet in the next stitch so I'm just going to continue with this pattern until your third strap Okay, now we are on the third shoulder strap, but we're not going to continue to make single crochet in the next 10 stitches. So, this is your first strap, and this is the second, and we are on the third strap right now. So, just flip your work to the wrong side like this. Just fold and align the front and back shoulder strap like this. So here we are facing the right side, and when you flip it, we are facing the wrong side like this. So to attach the shoulder strap together, insert your hook in the last double crochet stitch, and just pull your yarn to the other side, chain one, and just single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches so have 3 single crochet 4 single crochet 5 6 7 And then just flip your work back to the right side and repeat the edging pattern just like before. So your work should look like this now. Continue to make the edging. Skip the next stitch double crochet 
chain 3 and double crochet in the next stitch so just continue to do that for the next shoulder strap Just continue to do the edging along the shoulder strap, the neckline, and when you reach the next shoulder strap, just join it just like the previous method and just continue to do the edging till the end of the row. Now we are finished with the edging, still facing the wrong side, continue to join the side seams together with single crochet. So insert your hook and pull your yarn to the other side, chain one and just single crochet in each of the stitches till the end of the row.
Okay, when you finish joining the side seams together with your work to the right side and you're going to continue to make the edging around the bottom of your dress so just flip your work to the right side Okay, now I continue with the edging for the bottom part of this dress. Chain one, single crochet in the next double crochet space, and then double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet space. And in the next double crochet space, make single crochet. So you're just going to repeat the pattern around Double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet in the same space and join with a single crochet in the first single crochet stitch. So that is your round one. Now for round two, single crochet in the next stitch then make single crochet, chain 5, double crochet in the next 3 chain space and just continue to double crochet, chain 3, double crochet in each of the 3 chain space till the end of round the end of round just join with a skip stitch in the third chain of first chain 5 here for round 3 just single crochet chain 5 double crochet in the next 3 chain space and just like the previous round continue to double crochet, chain 3, and double crochet in each of the 3 chain space around. You can repeat this pattern a few more rounds until you get the desired length but I'm just gonna stop here on round 3 just slip stitch in the third chain of first chain 5 and now we are on round 4 the last round make 2 single crochet chain 3 2 single crochet in each of the three chain space around.
we're almost finished now just slip stitch in the next single crochet and chain one Cut off your yarn and weave in the ends. And we are finally done! Yay! This dress was so easy to make and you can create your own version using the same method. You can use any kind of stitches you like, just follow the steps and create your own dress or top. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye!